Yeah, so we have we have our fingerlings here when they were first brought. They were, they were placed in our tank one year. And the sizing was done on weekly basis. So we had, they were moved into the tank two, which is the next tank. Uh -huh. And again, it was further sorted and the higher weeds were moved into the third tank. Right. And it followed in that order up to the fourth tank. So how many grades, Mark, did you do on these? How many, so far, the grade, how many different gradings have you done? Um, um, with the with the grading, we've done a lot because yeah. it's on a weekly basis. So every for week yeah. for a whole month. For so at least month. at least four separate grades. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. So so at the end of the day, now we have the, and the main focus for us grading this is to get um, an average weight of forty grams right, before good. they are sent to the pond. Forty grams 40 before grams. they go into the pond. Yeah. Right. They go okay. Into the pond. So with the tank two year. Average, you know, they are 40, they are 40 points, grams. Yeah. 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 What so sort of numbers you got in there? Do you uh, know roughly the yes, numbers? Yes, we have roughly, roughly... Just roughly, it doesn't Yeah, matter. roughly we have 360 in there. 360, okay. Yeah, and for Tanqueray, it's 240. 240 in here. And for Tanqueray, they have a lot, and we have 436. Yeah, you've got quite a lot, a lot of density in yeah. there, isn't it? And only 72, it's left. Oh, uh, yeah. How often are you feeding them, Mark? Yeah, we feed them um, three times a day, but right. based on response. Right. Like, we feed them to substitution when they are... And what, what's, the, what's the feed you're using? Uh, we are using Ranan already from later diet. From, from Israel? Yes, uh, from Israel. And how do you find that, Mark? Um, how do you find it? The fish like oh, it? Oh, yeah, you yeah. Get a good yeah, feeding fish, response. The fish, they like it a lot. For yeah. instance, let me just show you to the time oh, okay. four how, yeah, how that's they nice. do their feeding. Yeah. Also, I'm sorry how they go about their feeding. Though they have already eaten this afternoon, Mark. So yeah, just take it. Yeah, just, to, um, yeah. So that means they really like the food a lot. So what about the pellet size for these? Do you have the different pellet sizes no, or at the no, moment? This this is the size at the moment we have. Right. Stuff. Because now from, from tank 3 up to tank 4, they are ready to be moved to the field. Yes. So yeah. now we are preparing the field, so hopefully by next week. Into the pond. Yes. Yeah. All right. That's good. And what about your water system here? Yes. Okay, this, this, can you explain where, how the water is doing, please? Um, the water system, at the moment, we are getting water from the water company. Um, from the water company, there, there's a stand pipe outside the fence. Right. So we tap the water from there into the header tank. We have. By, by gravity? Mm, yes, yes. Oh, no, yes, so there's no, no pump? No pump. Good. No pump, because we are trying to use very low cost materials yeah. to be down cost as much as possible. Yeah. So by gravity water gets into the header tank uh -huh. and the header tank also supplies along by gravity here into these various tanks. And what about the outlets and then? The outlet also it has been designed such that the the used water beneath the tank and um, like at the bottom of the tank or at the bottom of the column. Yeah. The water column it's rather siphoned out also by gravity right because the outlet has been pointed downwards while the water oh okay so that's yeah. your outlet then it's coming out yes. so you're, you're taking all the suspended solids out yeah, as well yeah good. and what about where it's going from here then from yeah, outside it's discharged into oh okay so basically mark it's a flow through system yes, yeah. yes do, do you pay for it, the water at all yes we pay for the water but but uh, we've just begun this project here so we are yet to receive our first payout. <laughs> oh well i hope, yeah, I hope so, it's all so right so we have trepatra estate and the whole estate is connected to this waste stabilization pond uh -huh. and there are five of them not connected in series the first pond this one yeah the first pond is an anaerobic pond uh -huh. yeah followed by facultative and another facultative pond and we have two maturation what, what do you mean by facultative what does that mean um um let me first start yeah with the you start with that one with the anaerobic pond um what what basically it does it it receives the waste that is coming from the various households so it's sewage pond. it's human sewage yeah you completely sewage. not not treated nothing no no not, yeah the raw one ah. so, from the kitchen, from the washroom, it yeah. comes directly into this first pond. Yeah. Before it comes to this first pond, we have a grid chamber behind this wooden structure. And the grid chamber, that one takes the the the, the solid particles like oh, yeah. the polybags yeah, yeah. and all It takes everything out. And, and they clean that out. Good. 
and followed by an inspection chamber that is just a big chamber as in an there. inspection chamber before it comes into and how many the, houses mark does this um, do you know roughly how yes, many houses roughly roughly we have a, about 200 households God, that's connected a lot. Oh. to this um, to this system wow so um so when we came in um the whole place was really bushy i bet so yeah we came to do the dislodging yeah it's good what depth okay. have you got here mark in um, these? during the excavation it was about five meters deep really yeah approximately five meters or even deeper uh -huh. yeah it was quite deeper so it receives the first way waste and because of the depth um, light penetration is very difficult, yeah. therefore we have anaerobic bacteria in, in there, right. breaking, breaking the various components. And you have, um, you have any fish in here? No. What, so um, what are we seeing here with, the, with this, the gases coming out? The gases coming out, I think, um, I don't know, but, but I don't think they are fishes. Because, no, no. Um, mm, because the ammonia level is supposed to be very high. Yeah, there, yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, and the DO is extremely low right. or virtually yeah, low. Yeah. So it moves. Uh -huh. the okay, the next corn. one that through, is through an outlet here. Can, yeah. can you control this? Yes, you can control it with with a sack filled right. with sand. All oh, right, like you to just block the level. A rope there. And, and what? This is a pipe. Is this a, a plastic pipe here? It's a plastic pipe. Oh, it's a big one, isn't yeah, it's it? It's a big one. Yeah. yeah. So okay. you just lower it to control it, assuming you don't want the uh -huh. water to come in here, um, the waste yeah. to flow into the next, um, into the next pipe. You, you could actually make this one higher as well, couldn't you? If, if the pipe was a bit higher, you could mm -hmm. you could use more level in here as well, couldn't you? You could make it a bit higher. Yeah. So, anyway. Yeah. So, All right, go on. so it moves to the next pond, which is a facultative pond. Uh -huh. And with the facultative pond, what it does, it, it further um, reduces the level of ammonia because it has also some bacteria in there that, that mm. are able it's to... It's a strong down, smell, eh? yeah, you can smell it. Break down the ammonia uh -huh. and as the ammonia level is going down and the nitrite level is also going down, the nitrate starts increasing yeah. a little bit in here. Um, and you see the DO also coming a little bit yes. as compared to the first point. Yeah. So it flows again to the second faculty. But down to the end so there, yeah. So it's two faculty. Okay. Yeah, this last okay. point is the last uh, maturation point that is connected to the second um that was connected to the first maturation yeah so from here the water moves directly through that outlet outside to a passing stream straight so, into a stream yeah, yeah. Straight into a stream. so from um the main function of these um you know with the original design the main function of these uh, uh maturation ponds is just to remove the pathogens that yes is in the water because at this point we expect that the dual level it's it's a bit improved yeah and the ammonia level is quite low so but with pathogen it could be removed due to uv um yeah um, yeah uv activity through the water so mm -hmm. these ponds are not very deep as no. compared to the, the, the earlier the ones all oh, right and when you first came to the site you doubt that you had a digger in here to yeah, dig them all out yeah, yeah we pumped we pumped out all the water before we excavated um we took out the slabs uh -huh. and stuff like that uh -huh. so it's not really deep as compared to the uh -huh. other ones so, so you'll be you'll be stocking these last two ponds in in a few weeks time it's about uh, two per, per square meter yeah yeah so so in the few um by next week the fish will be coming into this last pond uh -huh. yeah so that another um those species we have in there be about thousand species that are ready for the field so so some will be coming half will be coming here and half also will be going to the kian west tea pond right that will be serving as the control uh -huh. so that um our next production will will will, will cater for the next this one uh, yeah for yeah. the first um uh, for yeah. the first maturation pond and that of Ahen sign as well. Uh, yeah. State. yeah, yeah. Because for now we are working in two different uh, states. Sites, now, yeah. Good. Sites. Yeah. And in in part of uh, West Enterprises, our integration, like aquaculture integration, we we have started with some goats. Yeah, so helping with the grazing. So we have some goats. Um, you tie them yeah, up and yeah, let them do yeah, their work. Yeah so, yeah, so there are some goats on the field uh -huh. helping with the grazing. Yeah. At least we have about three pieces. Uh -huh. <laughs> From the facultative, the first facultative becomes to the second facultative. Uh -huh. Yeah, according to the original design that the KMA provided to us, they say this is also a second facultative point to, mm -hmm. to the first one we just saw. So again, it performs similar function to um, mm -hmm. as, as that. So from here, 
it moves to the first um, um, the first maturation point. Right. But before that, you you could see this um, oh, yeah. this pipe in here. Yeah. This pipe is supposed to be a diversion in case they want to work on the pond one, the anaerobic pond. Yeah. You could block it at the at the inspection chamber. Oh, at the right. chamber. And then you can so get water you know, in that way. Yeah. So that you can divert the waste directly yeah. into there. Yeah. It's a good so that good you, design. You, yeah. You could work on the on mm. the um, anaerobic. Uh, pond. Yeah. So from here we move to the first maturation pond. Maturation pond here, it's supposed to have a higher level of dew as compared to the other ponds we've mm -hmm. seen around, and with lower nitrate level and higher nit and with um, lower nitrite level and higher nitrate level. Uh -huh. um, that is what we're expecting here. So mm -hmm. we have the first maturation. The second, um, this is the first, the second maturation before uh -huh. the water moves finally out uh -huh. to a passing stream. Uh -huh. So these two points is what we are having in mind to using for the trial to right. see whether the fish will perform in here. Right. And this is going to, and this is our first um, um, trial we are yeah. having at the moment. Very good. So it, any idea those clarius we were looking mm -hmm. in the yeah. tanks there, they're going to go into this one. Yeah, yeah. And any idea what sort of stocking densities do you, yeah. do you know roughly what you're going to put in here? Yes, for now, for now, um, the number we have at the nursery, um, it's quite, um, it's just limited. Yeah, so, small. Yeah, small. So we are thinking of stocking the 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 second maturation pond. That one. Yeah, the last yeah. maturation pond there. And we are thinking of stocking it at two fingerlings per every square meter. All right, okay. Once we will not be feeding them, yeah, yeah, we will, we will allow them to scout for their own food. So you're not going to feed you, the trial will be no feed at no, all. No feed. Oh, all right. But with the control, you know, it's it's alongside the research. So yeah. With the control for that one, we will be feeding them whilst we'll be comparing their groups and all so, that. So your trial is going to be feeding compared to non-feeding? Yeah, feeding compared to non-feeding, but the emphasis is on the water, the impact ah, right. of the water yeah. quality yeah. of the fish itself. Sure, and that the growth where, they get yeah, from it. That's where the focus yeah. will be. Okay.